Welcome back to my garden. So this is our January tour. Let's start with our porch plant. This is our tea plant from the freeze. We have quite a bit of a damage as you can see. I'm keeping an eye on it. I will put it in the ground, but I want to see if it bounces back. I believe it does because I see quite a few of these in my neighborhood that are in the ground and they look red each year. And here go the sun patience that was in here. Some, most of it got, well, pretty much all of it, <laughs> got hit by the freeze. So this whole planter pot will get replaced. I'm thinking about moving it over there towards that wall, but we'll see. And I'm gonna get rid of this hedge right here. The sun is going down. Simply beautiful. All right, and down here we have, but this is our little line. So it didn't lose all its leaf. And I think yesterday we had, the last two days we've had another freeze. So I think this is it for the freeze. We are in zone nine, Florida. The temperature is 66 degrees today. Yep, I need to get my steps up. And we're in January. Our last possibility of having a frost from my area is February 14th. Here's our last frost date. But it's been pretty warm, so I think we shall be fine. If anything, I can always come outside and cover any plants I'm concerned about. Over here, we have our limelight hydrangeas. This is just a temporary spot for them. I'll be moving those later. I haven't found a permanent in-ground spot for it as yet. That's another reason why it's in the ground. I mean, in the pot. So I haven't found a permanent spot yet. But I'm going to be taking them out the planter this spring. I had a bit too much potting soil right there. I was trying to cover the roots <laughs> to keep them nice and protected. And now we have my babies. If you remember, these are my endless summer hydrangeas that I propagated. We lost a leaf, probably from there or somewhere else. I'm pretty sure it's from here. These are deciduous shrubs, so they normally lose all their leaves. Amazingly enough, it kept, I would say, about 70% of the leaves that I planted it with. Now, like I said, we did have a few frosts, so some of the leaves did die back. And it's also a transplanted hydrangea. So I'm going to, I'll have a link to the video for my propagating video that I did show you how I did it and I got that from Kelly Lehman and I actually did the ear layer method and look guys it had roots and I put it in here and I was worried because I cut it from the main plant and I was worried it was going to lose the leaves were too much to support the roof and I was going to cut them back and I actually decided not to but kept an eye on it and I'm glad I did because the roots are still there we even have buds coming in and if you know with endless summer hydrangea they bloom on new and old wood so i've been getting blooms on these well not this but the main plant since they, they bloom it's been blooming stop blooming stop so i like that so this year hopefully they'll do better i have a new spot for them let's take a look over on this side of the garden over that side and coming on this side we have my Summerific edge of night. It's right here. Ignore my random branches. So this one, I don't see anything coming up yet. It may take a while. It may be a little bit. Yeah, nothing coming up as yet. But you see, it's still green here. So it's not dead. So even though up here is dead, the base itself still looks good. So I'll keep it nice and tucked in until it's ready to send new shoots up. I'm going to move this rose. This was just here temporarily. So I'm going to move this rose. And I may end up moving the hibiscus. Um, not sure yet. This here is my dianthus. And I did not know it was going to bloom during the cold. I left it out here. It wasn't protected in the cold. So that's good to know that it can tolerate cold and freeze in zone 9. So what we have back here... 
um, it doesn't list the zones back here but we are in zone 9 and like I said it, it tolerated and it was good it didn't die back or anything this is my double knockout roses and it's pretty pretty short still so this is the first season in the ground here I need to come back and clean it up I haven't done that yet so I need to do that since we're in January so I'll take care of that there's a lot of splint blooms there the leaves look fine and intact so this right here I think it's my foxglove it's n I'm not sure like I said, I'll, I'll double check and I put a name on the screen for that these are my asters it's a perennial we have my pansies here these are my salvias here we go this is the deep ocean salvia another perennial and if you look closely like this I gotta come back in and cut it back and these new babies here are my salvias for this year I even got even more so these I need to cut back that over there is another dianthus it is a red one that's a purple one so I have three asters and I have a feeling they are spaced too close together so I may have to take the middle one out and move it further I may have to take all three out and relocate them but I'll wait for spring for that here go my ornamental cabbage it's looking good just a few dried up leaves on the bottom and here go another one with a few dried up leaves again but look at that take a close look and here go the other ornamental kale in here look at that so pretty and these are some dances I have in here I have some white pansies as well more pansies here but the kales are pretty much taking up everything and I have my blue point juniper here so pretty look at that it's doing so great I'm gonna keep an eye on that when it gets too big I may end up moving it to another location and let's let me show you my other ornamental kale is actually towards the front There's the other ornamental kale look at that and it has pansies along with it but wow this one is the biggest one these two are super huge like look and this one have a little brown leaves on the bottom as well this been in here since I did this for my fall garden planting I would have to take a look look at that it's pretty firm in there so that we have a lot of winds and it's not going anywhere <laughs> but I did this my fall planting I think that was in September or October I did my fall planting so that's let's say October November December January that's three months they have been in here for three months that one you can actually see the stalk let me show you the, the stems slash stalk on these they're pretty pretty um long like look at this like look at that and it goes all the way in and wow look at this here there's another baby one coming off the main one isn't that amazing look at that there's an itty bitty oh i got a volunteer a baby oh, oh i have another one for this one too look so that's the main one and here go the baby oh there's two here well that means i don't have to buy another one next year if i can keep these in a cool area then they can get multiplied anything over here nope but that's awesome wow look at that and got a little purple in the center already so i don't know if you remember but i planted when i planted these inside were green you couldn't see any purple in the middle but look how big the purple areas are look at that look at this this is so beautiful wow so pretty that is a pretty purple wow that's beautiful look at my pansies the pansies are looking great but it's been getting warm so these winter items are struggling a bit we have our chrysanthemums they got frozen 
got hit by frost they weren't protected but they're still setting up blooms they're like hey we can survive this cold is nothing to us what's this oh these are volunteer and not volunteer but i guess seedlings for the moms these are extra moms they're self-seeding themselves so i have extra moms and extra kale we call this one cabbage and this one died back but here goes some fresh seed right there so that's amazing and the last one the last one we have is this one so i've had i got this one the big back store for a dollar it had like three leaves on it and it was three of them and it wasn't purple in the middle it was white and green and i thought it was a white and green cabbage this whole time and so this year i was surprised to see it was pink in the middle i'm like what so this is this was a very pleasant surprise i just had it in there one reason why i left it here I wanted to see if it was going to survive through the whole year and it did. So that means for all my ornamental kales and cabbages, I don't have to throw them away because I didn't want to have to do that like, oh, the temperature is too warm now, I need to get rid of them so I can just put them in a cooler location and hopefully plant them back next fall when I'm ready for my fall cabbages. So further back that way, so this was my... And I'll just let this die back, but this was my brown eyed girl sunflower. It's completely died back. I'll cut it back later. So I still have to do some plant cleanup. I gotta take this red mulch out and get everything cleaned up. Right here we have our summer summerific French vanilla. As you can see, we still have green, so that's good. But the top completely got chewed off by the freeze. Over here, I have a climbing rose. I got this at Home Depot. So you can't see any blooms right now, but it's been trained to go around this Christmas holly. I'll keep an eye on that. And over here, I actually like these sticks, so I haven't cut it back yet. And I don't think I'm supposed to cut this back, but this is, I, is my tropical hibiscus. And I'm pretty sure I saw leaves on the old stem last year. So I'll keep an eye on this. Like There was new shoots coming up as well as shoots on the old stem. So I'll keep an eye on this and keep you posted. So right here, we have this marker and this area here we have some daisies is it daisies no daffodils why am i saying daisies daffodils this is my coreopsis i think i want another one it does amazing in the winter nothing died back i need to come in and cut the the old those old spent blooms off here is another daffodil in this area that's my those are my markers <laughs> to see where they are over here one two these are I believe they're endless summer hydrangeas. I got them on clearance, they're like $7. And I they were pretty much dying when I got them. So I pretty much brought them home and gave them a fighting chance. Look at that, there is buds on this one. So many buds, look at that, wow. It, these are ready for spring, guys. I am so excited for spring. Like I think last year was, me, was my first time gardening. And I did a lot of tests runs in my garden and I, and I tried a lot of plants see what did how, how certain plants function in the heat and the location of my garden and that was a it was a good learning experience for me so yeah so this is my slope it goes up <laughs> and those are my other chrysanthemums they didn't get a chance to do the whole bounce back because the freeze i left them outside and i I actually wanted to see how they will tolerate the cold and they actually did pretty good so I am gonna link this video link the other video of me cutting them back but I don't believe you actually get a second bloom right away you have to wait seasons so you to cut them back and then the next season you'll get blooms because there were a few blooms but it's, it wasn't as big as how it was in the big box store that's what I noticed like you still got fresh blooms fresh um leaves for new to put on more blooms but i'll keep you posted and i'll keep documenting that but i wasn't impressed with the blooms i got they weren't as big as what it was in the big box store
So these are my ranunculus and I got them planted late and look at this. The dirt literally got washed off. Look at that. Look at, look at all the dirt got washed away. So my garden in the back here is actually on a slope. So I'm going to have to do some more research and adjust it to be planted on a slope. But they are sprouting. Look at that. That's beautiful. So I, hopefully I do have enough time and they these plants do not like the heat. It does get hot here. So hopefully I have time to actually enjoy the bloom. But look at those shoots sticking up. That is so amazing and in these containers here i have more daffodils in here and I actually have another container with some more ranunculus but look you can see the slope it slopes up the hill so we'll have just have to deal with it <laughs> because i was not prepared for my soil washing away because of a rain so that's it guys let's take a look and see um, what they look like in the pots. In the back garden that I still haven't done yet, it's January 16th. And let me show you the progress made on the leaves compared to, I'll put the date in here, but I inserted a clip of what I had a few days ago. These are shooting up so So what I'm going to do next is show you a clip of what I do whenever there's a frost coming and if you remember some of my big containers I planted in my previous video you're gonna see exactly why they are planted in the ground and this garden tour is actually filmed the day after the frost so this is me prepping the night before this one out that I buried as well thank you That's a deep hole. <laughs> so we got one, two empty spots. And the other two that I have in the ground, I will cover them up. So those are actually in the garage. So all the buds will be protected because like I said, these, I don't want to freeze off because this is the endless summer hydrangea. It actually blooms on new and old wood. So it doesn't need pruning. You don't have to cut it back. So this is why I'm trying to protect the buds that are on there. Um, even if I was to, they, they do get frozen off, I will end up getting buds again because it will give me new blooms. But I want to keep it new and old because it's been flowering since, I have to take a look to see. I think since May it started flowering, and look at that. We are in January, and we still have new blooms. So this, I call it endless year hydrangea because in Florida we don't we don't just get blooms in summer. We get it all year round. Like we're getting more blooms, even if it's just on sticks, we're still getting blooms. Good morning. It is the next day. We're getting this taken off. The birds are out chirping as usual. Well protected. Beautiful. The new growth are nice and protected. That one's going in here. No, it's fine. And they, it doesn't have no long branches to worry about. Thank you. Right. It's in its home. 
I just want to say thank you so much, everyone, for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. Bye.